So one of the hardest things about building a surfboard, at least for a newcomer, is figuring out the exact position to put your things like fin boxes. Now, we've taken all of the stress out of that because with our kits, we include one-to-one -one paper templates which show you the perfect position for your fin boxes. Of course, you can change things up if you want to experiment, but this is a really good guide. Now, the paper template combined with our awesome little install jigs make this task super easy, and this is how you do it. So to do this, all we need to do is lay your template over your board and just line it up nicely. Basically transfer these outlines onto the board itself. Now, how do we do that? Well, you could use something like graphite paper underneath and just trace the outline, but you know, not everyone has that anymore. So what we use is we just color in the outline on the underside of the paper with some chalk and then trace through the outline on there. And that gives us plenty of an indication of where it needs to be. Now, I'm working on a fish, so we've only got the two fins. Ordinarily, there would also be a center. So now all you have to do is trace this outline. Now, to help assist in that, here is our, one of our acrylic templates. So this is an optional purchase. You don't need this at all. You can make them yourself. But all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line it up over the area and then use this to help guide my pencil. Now, as we lift up that paper, we can see we've got the two outlines on our board. So the next thing we need to do is just secure this template into place. So to do that, I'm just using double-sided tape. And then all that we have to do is carefully line it up and press down firmly. Now we can see that that template isn't going to go anywhere. Now you'll get a bag of hardware like this. And you'll notice you've got one fin plug which has the screws on either side of the fin. That's for the center. Now we're not gonna be using that in this case, but if you're using a, a tri-fin setup, that would be your center fin. Then you're left with two of these ones which have the grub screws on the same side. Now these fin boxes have the five degree angle built in, so all you have to do is install them flat and you're good to go. Just be aware that the grub screws go towards the center of the board. If you install it that way, you're not gonna have the correct fin offset. Now, as far as how deep you want your uh, hole to be, basically you'll see on the fins, the uh, little raised section. So you want the raised section to be just above the surface of your board so that once we fiberglass over this and sand it back, we're left with a nice crisp opening. Uh, but you do want fiberglass on this serrated section. So your depth of cut is going to be between 15 and 16 millimetres deep. So aim for about 15 and a half, uh, but don't be any less than 15. So I'm just going to relieve the material with a force in a bit, just because this is faster and probably a bit safer, really. So then all you need to do with your pattern bit in your router, drop it down so it's touching the surface and then lower your base on so it's flush. Now you should be good to remove all that material. There it is. That is flush. And now once we glass over that with our tabs, we'll sand through and we'll have a perfect little fin box. All right, so there's our two fin boxes installed. Obviously, if you're doing a thruster, you would have a third fin in the back there. But now all we have to do is glue this in place. Now, what we use for that is just epoxy resin, which you pour in here and press these things in. But because of squeeze out, we don't want to risk getting epoxy into our uh, our fins themselves. Now we also might mask off the area around the boxes so that we don't get squeeze out onto the wood itself as well. So in with your fin boxes comes these stickers which are specifically for this. So you'll apply this at this stage and you'll leave these covers on until after your fiberglassing is done. It's important to note that these fin boxes are meant to be installed before glassing unlike some which are designed to be installed after glassing. So if you're using these fin boxes from us, 
make sure you do this now. Now this here is just the uh, epoxy resin. In this case, it's the West Systems uh, resin, but any epoxy will do. And basically what we're gonna do is pour in the hole. These foam sections on the fin itself need to get saturated. So we're gonna press the foam in once we've got resin add more resin onto the foam, and then add the plastic section. That way it will guarantee that we've got a heap of holding power. Okay, so let's get this in. We go in the hole. Make sure we got every wall nice and wet. Then we can install our foam. So that's our foam. Here I'm just making sure that this foam is soaking in resin. This is where a relatively thin resin kind of is useful. Okay, and now we can just press in. All right, so there it is. That's all there is to it. We'll just wipe off that excess. Still gonna sand around all of this before fiberglassing, so a little bit of a drip here and there isn't a huge deal. We're just trying to reduce the amount of work we might have at a later date. So we'll let that dry, but that's all there is to installing our FCS spin boxes. Thanks for watching.